We are people. We're here today in Town Hall and we're here. Good morning, everybody. God loves you. It's still morning, only just, but God is here today. I know this guy already, the one in the white shirt. He's walked past a few times. And you know what, people? Today, we're here doing God's work. That's what we're doing. Actually, he's doing work here and we're giving him a hand. We're giving him a hand today. We're available for people to talk. If you feel the tug of the Holy Spirit on your heart and you feel you want to get something right in your life, you've been thinking about eternity, you've been thinking about God and God in your life, maybe you're going through some struggles in life. A lot of people have struggles. They do. This life is not easy. But if you have a friend, he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. His name's Jesus. He's the one. He'll give you new life. He'll stand by you, even if your friends desert you. He'll be there. And in the middle of the crisis, in the middle of chaos, you will be able to experience the joy of the Lord, the peace that passes all understanding. That's what's on offer today. God Almighty, by His Spirit, is here. And He's done a wonderful thing, ascending His only begotten Son into this earth to save mankind to provide a way back to himself. He's done it all. It's a once and for all event in history that will not happen again, that cannot happen again. There is no other saviour, there's only Jesus. He's the only one and he's the one that saves mankind. And people, some people are feeling the need for that. And God has ordained that certain people today will be saved. And there will be many. Every time we come out, people are saved. Every time we come out, dozens of people give their heart to Christ. And their life will never be the same again. That's what God says because he gives you new life. He makes you a new creation on the inside. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. So today, we're preaching the gospel, because when you preach the gospel, faith rises in people's hearts. People hear the gospel. How can, you, how can you have faith unless you hear the word of God? That's how it happens. So we're out here today, firstly for that purpose, to preach the gospel to people, so people understand God loves you, yes. I get some lovely looks from people, but lovely looks will not get you to heaven. Unfortunately, smiles won't get you to heaven. Tattoos won't get you to heaven, none of that. Jesus is the only way to heaven. That's what the sign says and it's true. He so loved the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on him would not perish but would have everlasting life. Yes, thank you for the encouragement. Everlasting life. So this is the thing. We all will go somewhere and spend eternity somewhere. You can determine where you're going to spend that by believing in Jesus. You cannot determine it yourself. There's no such thing as two saviors. There's only one saviour. His name is Jesus. He's done the job. All you can do is receive. You cannot buy anything from Jesus. You cannot buy salvation. You cannot earn salvation by doing good works. Just about every religion says Oh, let's do some good works and that'll get us to heaven. God's got a set of scales up there and he's going to weigh everything up. No, it's not like that, guys. God loves you. He cares for you. He wants you guys, you guys now to come and have a talk, come and have a chat. This could be your day.